Okay, today uh, we shall be we shall be developing we shall be developing uh, Pearson correlation model. Okay, we have to develop Pearson correlation model and. Uh, and we want to see the association shape between income and uh, debt, right? Whether the income and debt are correlated or not. That means uh, whether the income and the debt is is correlated or not. That we want to check. Okay, and the thing is that actually we do not know what is the association ship between income and debt so uh, and actually we do not know what is the what is the relationship between income and debt right what is the uh, association shape between income and debt? We do not know it. We do not know the relationship between income and debt. So, when we when we do not know the association ship when we do not know the association ship or or relationship between So, uh, so when we do not know the association shape or re relationship between income and debt, we should use the two-tail test. So that is the guideline, right? That is the guideline of two-tail test. That means what is the association shape between income and debt is it positive association shape or negative association shape that we do not know so in that case we should use the two tail test but but if the relationship is known to us known to us then we should use the one tail test uh, suppose suppose the relation 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 ship between income and debt is positive positive then we should 
gives the one tail test so that is the guideline right suppose uh, suppose the the association ship between income and debt is positive or negative right positive or negative that we know then we should use the one tail test to to check it again to check it again about the association ship suppose we know that the association ship between income and debt is negative that we know from our experience then we should use the one tail test but if the association ship is not clear then we should use the two tail test okay but today's model uh, in case of today's model today's model uh, the association ship or the relation relationship between income and debt is not known to us so we shall be using two tail test in SPSS okay that is our plan for today okay and uh, and uh, so what I, I shall do now I shall collect data I shall collect data from the population right of two variables such as income income and debt and then I shall use the Pearson correlation coefficient right and and here and here what is our null hypothesis and here our null hypothesis is there is no correlation between 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 uh, income and debt in the population right and what is alternative hypothesis there is correlation correlation between uh, income and debt in the population right So one is there is no correlation and alternative hypothesis there is correlation and what is the guideline normally if the p value or sig value is uh, if the p value or sig value is less than five percent 
what is 5 percent 0 0.05 if the p if the p value or sig uh, sig value means significant value is less than 5 percent then uh, uh, then uh, then we can reject null hypothesis and can accept alternative hypothesis and what is our alternative alternative hypothesis our alternative hypothesis is there is correlation between income and debt in the population okay now i shall insert data in spss SPSS to know what is happening uh, sorry okay now I shall insert data in SPSS to know what is uh, happening in the real world or in the population. 